Hello guys, listen to the interesting story of Chisong Steve on how she met her husband and, and how they end up as husband and wife. Just listen to her. Thank you. So I met my husband in 2021, I think around March, April, just where? On Instagram. <laughs> yes, Instagram, you heard that right. I met my husband, my very handsome, cute, yummy baby, everything, some shorts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I met him on Instagram in 2021. That day, I, I, I just came out from the exam hall. I think I was in 100 level. I just entered the school, my first semester exam. So I, I just... Um, finished with the exam so I had to go back to my hostel so while in my hostel I laid down I was supposed to read for the next exam that's the next day but I just decided to okay just check Instagram and that I think I, I just clocked um, 10k I mean 12k of um, followers then so I, you know that excitement now like uh uh I'm now um, in the thousands, like 12k at the 10k, so I was excited. So I came on Instagram that evening and I went to explore. I think I went to search someone, and then I saw this very cute, dark, handsome guy. I'm going to be putting up the picture while I say this. So I'm going to be this is the picture that I saw on Explore. And I'm like, oh, wow. Baby boy, where are you from? Like, in my head, I was like, ah, your mother must be a woman of Hebrew because how come she, like, how is she able to give birth to this very, very handsome boy? She's from Hebrew, and that's why she deliver. She deliver this very, 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 very cute package. I'm like... Oh, this one here, I like him. <laughs> so, it wasn't him that posted because he was on private. Somebody, I think, um, my husband is a military man. He's another officer. So, one of those um, military groups, what Instagram people, they just posted his picture, I think, for Man Crush Monday. And I saw it. So, they did not tag him. Like, uh -uh. why did this people not tag the love of my life, my husband? Because, yeah, immediately I saw it, I said, this is my husband. And I, I remember I told my friends there, and I said, see, I found my husband. I went to my sisters, two of my sisters were attending the same school as me. I think they were in 300 level. Yes, they were in 300 level then. My elder sister and my younger sister. So I came, I just, I said, Safit, Safit, can you come and see, come and see. I found my husband. And they were like, <laughs> I'm like, if you should stay here, I will come back and give you the testimony of how everything went through. This is what I said to them, I swear. And he, it happened that evening i now took it upon myself i w i was exploring instagram i wanted to i, I said go to their followers i went to when my mom told me ah, ah, go to the likes and see if this bubble liked and now checked the likes i did not see his picture then something said check the, the comments so i checked the comments and i saw somebody mentioned him and said rooms like okay <laughs> it's like this person knows this bobo <laughs> so i clicked on the name that they mentioned and he's on private i'm like oh, okay this boy knows what he carries that's why he's on private because why will he stress a girl like me up i went <laughs> okay so i'm sorry i'm too playful i'm so sorry so i rushed into his dm 
I'm into his um, page and I sent a request. When I sent the request, I sent the request around, I think around that two something and around three something to four. She accepted my request and followed back. So where I danced, amongst my sisters, I bought them something that I said, ah, my husband do, my husband have followed back. And he said, hey, just with me, just with you yourself, me, your husband. And guess what? This man happens to be my first boyfriend ever. And my only boyfriend and ended up my husband. Is that not miraculous God working? Is that not my Baba God working? <laughs> I don't I, I don't know what it means to say and my ex. I did not do relationship. I met this man and he was my first boyfriend and he ended up my one and only husband. Even after this world, this is my husband forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I I stay by things for my friends and my sisters. I was like, ah, my husband. They said, what are we celebrating? See, my husband just followed me. Everybody would be just laughing. So I just went into his name. I said, hello, um, good evening. My name is Shisom and you. I said, hi, good evening. My name is Kina Daniel Bunaya. I said, okay, um, where are you from? I said, it's from Abi. I said, I'm from Enugu. I said, um, okay, I saw, your, I saw your picture on Explore and I like you. And I sent you a request. And I said, oh, thank you. I'm like, what kind of a person are you? Are you a good person or are you a bad person? I said, how about we, how about I let you see that for yourself and decide if you are if I'm a good person or a bad person. So I'm like, okay. And we did not talk again. That was the last stuff we spoke about. And we did not talk again till two weeks later. Okay, before that two weeks time, the next day she posted, I think um, yes, it was March now because it was March. On the 8th of March, International Women's Day, he posted pictures of women, fine girls. I just, hey God, my mind just, like Jesus, this guy has married. And he has this wig that he wears on his finger, this, um, the fourth finger. And, well, it's not a wedding ring, but he wears the ring. And I'm like, what if, I said, this guy is married. Maybe he does not like wearing his wedding ring, or he just wants to wear the ring so people will know he's married. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, oh my God, no, <laughs> Like, this boy wants. If to say, study this boy, now I give him a better <laughs> slap. That was what, in my mind, I'm like, this boy wants to wear, this guy wants to wave me mad. What is this? Hey, my mind just shattered. I did not say anything again. I kept, I just viewed, I was just viewing the story. I did not say anything. I kept quiet. Two weeks later, I posted a picture, this picture. And he came to my DM and he wrote, he sent the picture to my DM and he said, hmm, you are tensioning the internet. Too. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, what happened to the picture? It's like, it's too hot. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And honestly, I didn't think. I went and delete, not delete, I went to archive the picture. With over 4,000 likes then. That was the first day I was getting 4,000 likes on my picture. And this bobo came and said, it's too hot. And I went to delete it and archive it. He came back and he's like, wait, did you really archive a picture on your page because I talked about it. I'm like, yes, you said it was too hot. I'm like, okay. And that day, she asked for my number. <laughs> I gave him my number and immediately he called me. And we spoke for two hours straight. I was expecting when he called, when the number called, I was expecting, yeah, hello. And what I heard is, hi, hello. Like, hey! 
I'm like, look at husband, look at husband 101 here. Like this guy, I gonna get you. Wherever you want to, I'ma catch you. I'ma catch you and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna groom you. I'm gonna I'm gonna husband you by force. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I and he like he spoke, we spoke, there was this connection, like I know this person. I just felt like this person is my person. There was this ease, there was this I was not trying to form. I was just at peace with myself. I was just myself. Everything was flowing. And I spoke the next day. He was in class because he was on a course too at that time. So the same time I was writing an exam, he was on a course. So he called me in class and he wanted to just um, hear from me. I'm like, ah, this boy is serious, yo. This boy now, he they stay and he they check up on me. I'm like, okay, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. So we, so we didn't date. We we're not dating all those time. We're friends. 2021 that we started talking. It's 2022. May 2022. Me, since 2022, he asked me to be his girlfriend. First off, he didn't ask me over the phone. He called me on the phone and he's like, where do you stay? Are you in a Asaba or you're in school? I'm like, I'm in a Asaba. And he's like, okay, I will see you. Like, hey, my house is strict too. I didn't tell him more. Because I'm, I'm feeling like a big girl. I will be telling him. Somebody that has been crushing on my my husband that have envisioned that will I be telling him that they will not allow me. I don't want to chase the bubble. So I chested it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was when I dropped the car, I'm like, hey, my house, they are strict. How are you going to come and see me? I don't even go out. They don't let us go out. So how where do I even tell them I'm going to the only business I have is go to school, come back, go to church, come back. So how am I going to go and tell them that? Um, where am I really going to tell them I'm going to? So after everything, I just someone courage because the day was fast approaching. I had someone courage and I told my mom. I, I said, "Mommy, there's this guy I've been talking to from school, and now he said he wants to come and see." Eh, hey, my mom said, hey, "What do you mean, small girl like you?" You want to be talking to man in my house? Just that. Hey, hey. It, came. it was now, you know, it had to be a family thing, family members, her friends. Were like, ah. She's 23 years now. Allow her. She's old enough to have a boyfriend. Is it because this one is even telling you? What about the ones that will not even tell you, but they have somebody they are dating? And then uh, finally, finally, she accepted and he came. The first time I saw this guy, like he's not even fine on pictures. He saw me, he's like, you're not even pretty on pictures. You're too cute. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this one doesn't know he's a cute boy. He has gold eyes. Like, how is it possible that that guy has a gold eyes? I'm like, Damn, I melted. <laughs> I took him inside. And everybody fell in love with him. My brother, my mom, my sisters, everybody fell in love with him. And I'm like, okay, that's it. And he said, later when we, I think we went to get food for him to eat. And I said, would you be my girlfriend? I said, of course. I've been dying to hear you say that because I like you. And I, I did not hide it. I told him, said, baby boy, I like you. What's your stand? And finally, he told me that he likes me. That he has liked me from the first day. But he was just being careful because of his past relationship. So he didn't want to jump into something else and maybe hurt someone else for something that's another person did to him so so he's like that's why he had to just keep quiet he didn't tell me 
but he likes me, he loves me, and <clears throat> that's it. We started up. That may, we, that may, I took him to my spiritual father because after two days, he was in a survival, I think, a few days, and after two days, he started asking me, how do your people, um, what does it take for your people to, um, get, for somebody to marry someone from your place? Where's your place? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Two days after asking me to be his girlfriend, he's already asking these questions. I shall told him. So one day like that, one fateful day like that, he called me, I think, May, May 6th, 2023. Okay, yes. We, he came to Asaba to, so we could, we could celebrate the, our uh, one year of relationship and also see my spiritual father because he asked that I brought him so he can see the young man that wants to, that I'm in a relationship with. So when he came, he now started asking me all the stuff. This, that, that, that. I told you. And that was it, though. That's how we got here. That's how this people have married me. Oh. Like, I met the best man in the world.